Hey, I'm Brittany Saturn. And I haven't slept in a day. And welcome to <laughs> Animal Crossing. <laughs> I was going to carry it, but I still fucked up. <laughs> Hi, Brittany. I'm Brian Belcher for everyone. Hey, Brian. This is Forest Life. So Brian hasn't slept in a little while. Uh, He's been stressing out. So... Um, About it's life. that it's that time of year, <laughs> that joyous time of year. Well, I feel like the holidays are already kind of stressful, but yeah, we like yeah. to add um, mega marathon planning into. We, yeah, our we like holiday. to double up on our stress. So I have a amazing song from KK Slider. That's like, right. We can't play it because I don't have a radio. That's right. So I'm just it gonna is, go put it in a drawer. <laughs> I'm actually really excited that um. We finally have KK Slider now. Well, I think our town, I mean, not, not our town, our store is being upgraded again. Uh, yeah, so I think I it was think already closed. We might be able to get a radio today. I don't know. Maybe they'll put a radio in there because we got a song. You know? Every time we talk about the radio, the song Radio by Elvis Costello pops in my head. Oh, I don't think I know that song. Um, Do I? It sounds familiar. We sang it a lot when we were doing Rock Band Night. So there's this thing. Actually, this is kind of like pre half empty energy tank it was like a, it was like uh it was still kind of what we did for half empty energy tank but not really yeah um we used to do this thing called rock band night back when rock band was a big deal and we did uh, it every it, uh, once every a week. week yeah we did it once a week yeah it was like a wednesday it was really cool though we'd hang out in this really awesome bar and we would just play rock band with strangers and they would come up and we'd do it for eight hours yeah oh dang and how long did we do that we did that for like we did about a year and a half a year and a half yeah, yeah. it was a long time because i remember we had to pack up like half our living room every week and go it was such mm-hmm. a pain in the ass <laughs> it was a real pain in the ass but it was a lot of fun yeah it was a lot of fun um there and were some days you know like i somehow a- got in i was uh, like 20 i think uh-huh um but we just kept it low-key and like i obviously did not order any alcohol so the bartender was like cool with it i guess well he didn't know that i was underage <laughs> until we came until on your I 21st came birthday on my 21st birthday and he's yeah. like how old are you and i'm like 21 and he had this like terrible look on his face but i was like it's okay dude like i never drank in your bar underage so don't worry about it <laughs> yeah and he but, didn't say anything and we were just kind of like mm, mom's the word <laughs> but um but it was a really cool place we made a lot of friends yeah 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 we'd see people every week who would come just to play rock band night with us. One of the cool things that we also mm-hmm. did was uh, the town, uh, the city was Winston Salem, North Carolina. We don't live there anymore, but uh, when we did, they would do this thing called the Art Hop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a lot of fun too. And uh, one time to advertise Rock Band Night, we actually put an entire uh, living room out in the street. Yeah. So Art Hop is basically downtown Winston is just a bunch of art galleries and such little like artsy restaurants and little stores. So once a month they would do the Art Hop where it's basically just like an arts and crafts festival in the street and they'd close down the roads and stuff. Mm -hmm. So we had a little living room set up. We had like a carpet and a recliner and our mic stands and stuff. Yep. And my favorite person from that night was this little lady. (laughs) She was just like this small little mother and she was very quiet and we have like a ton of songs because Brian used to buy like every downloadable pack. So I, we had, I, like, I have like th- I have like three thousand songs. Three thousand songs. So there was like songs that we haven't even played. You know, we just mm-hmm. had it for a variety because there's so many different people who would come through. And this little lady, she came out. She didn't speak English super well either, and she was like picked out Evanescent song "Bring mm-hmm. Me to Life," and we of were course. like, we we're like, okay, you know, we're not judging. We let people do whatever the cr- whatever they want to. Yeah. But she gets on that microphone, and she's, like, belting out that song. And it is the best, like, cover, karaoke cover I've ever heard of uh-huh. an Evanescent song. And she was just so happy. And her husband and her kids were just standing to the side, just like, yep, that's our mom. Like, that's just what she does. <laughs> and the best part was, like, I see, uh, English was not her first language. Yeah. So, oh, excuse me. So when she asked to do it, she was just kind of, we had, a, we were like, what song do you want? She pretty much just pointed, because mm-hmm. um, she seemed like very shy, you know, on yeah. top of that. So we were just kind of like, okay, well, let's... I know it's really interesting that this really shy person is going to pick out this song that's a little harder to sing, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but she fucking loved that song and belted it out, and she was amazing. She drew, like, a big crowd, and she was just, like, so happy afterwards. She couldn't stop smiling, and that was, like, the best 
person of the night. Like, that's the only person I really remember that night. So, but that was just really cool. <laughs> um, it took me a, a second to remember why I brought this up. <laughs> uh, but the reason I brought it up was because there was one guy, the guy who dressed up like as Indiana Jones on the Halloween party. Yeah. He would sing radio by Elvis really Costello. True. Every, every week, week. <laughs> the people had a song yeah like the same people that would come every week they would just sing the same fucking song every week now of course rock band had new songs come out every week so yeah, but they still pick their old favorites and i i'd, I'd update the uh, catalog mm-hmm. and all kinds Everything. of stuff but Man, Rock Band Night was a lot of fun, but I don't ever want to do it again. <laughs> no, it was so much work. And the worst I like looking back on the memories, but it was just so much work for like no payoff really for us other than just like hanging out. I occasionally know? got <laughs> paid for it. Yeah, if the bar made a lot of money, he would sometimes give you like some money, I think. Yeah, yeah. But he usually was, gave me fifty bucks. Mostly it was like Nah, you did this for because you love it. But um yeah, I love rock band. I still love rock band, and I just wanted people to play with. And I had killed my friend's interest in that game <laughs> by making them play more. So I never played Rock Band until I met you, mm-hmm. which was like 2009. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you put me on drums. That was a mistake. And maybe we've already established this in other episodes, but I have no rhythm. Like, I love music. I love dancing, but I can't do any of it, really. So and we, it was really hard for me, but I, I got pretty good at the guitar. I don't know if I established it in show, <laughs> but the other day when I was advertising um, the show on one of the Animal Crossing Facebook groups, I had a, um, it was yesterday, it was yesterday's episode, um, and they were, um, they were making fun of us because we were making fun of like white people, like teaching white people how to dance. Yeah. And I was, slide. and I was like, first of all, I, I was making fun of myself. It's like, I only know this in the electric slide, you know? <laughs> yeah. And it was these pl- two black girls, and I was, they were, um, they were, you know, they were playing along with the joke. Yeah. And, uh, they ended up, uh, ended up, like, outing you, saying that <laughs> Brittany has, like, no rhythm. And, um, they were like, bless her soul, I'll pray for her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. I just lost it Thank right you. there. I need I need your prayers. <laughs> one like equals one prayer equals one rhythm. <laughs> um and the worst part is is that we actually often listen to dance music. Mm-hmm. Um so one of my absolute favorite like things to listen to is early nineties dance music. Yeah. I love early 90s dance music. Um, and just about all of those has the, uh, all of my favorite songs have the word rhythm in it. Mm-hmm. So like, you know, rhythm is a dancer, rhythm of the night, you know, the rhythm's going to get you. <laughs> you know, I love all, I love all those songs. So I don't know where I'm going with this, but man. No, it's good. I like talking about 90s songs. Wait, did he say that they all were already in the museum? Probably. Sometimes I'm like listening. Well, yeah, I'm listening to you, and I'm not I, really reading yeah, what yeah. Blather says. Yeah. But I know I'm getting really close to having most of the fossils, so it's yeah. possible that I would have a batch that didn't have any. So if you guys haven't noticed, it's snowing in our town, which it's getting it there. isn't doing in our house. Although it is snowing Ooh. all around us, everywhere else. <laughs> yeah, so we were actually supposed to go to a ha- uh, Halloween. I almost said Halloween. <laughs> we're supposed to go to a holiday party. It's an ugly sweater party. It's one of my favorite parties that our friends throw every year. Uh huh. Um, but we it was canceled because of bad weather. Because it's snowing. Our friends are like three hours away, and yep. of course it's snowing. Um, at their house, but not at our house. It's just raining here and shitty. Yeah, our friends live in the mountains. Me and Brittany are actually from the mountains of... If you uh, can't tell, we're from the mountains of North Carolina. I don't know if y'all know. Now I'm a special mountain woman. I got all my teeth. But I'm from yonder. (laughs) (laughs) Over yonder. Industrial wall. What is this? This is terrible. Great. Did I already buy the slingshot? Yes. Okay. You got it yesterday. I'm about to buy another one. <laughs> <laughs> I, y'all y'all don't even know. <laughs> so there's some... Is that like music paper? That frog paper? What was that? The frog paper? Yeah, what is that? I forgot what it is. Yeah, I think so. 
We can go check it out. Okay, yeah. Why not? Yeah, I think it plays like a little song, maybe. I can't remember. That's cute. It was something I bought like one time in New mm -hmm. Leaf and never bought it again. Yeah, I don't remember it. Uh, Melody, Melody Pepper. Pepper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What is it? Melody Pepper is a message card that can have an original melody attached to it. Sorry, I've got the hiccups while I'm trying to read this. Of course, presents can be attached as if it were stationary. You'd like to send it to someone. Please take it to the post office. No, thanks. No. I haven't written any letters in this game because they're, like, so tedious that I feel like it's really boring to watch on camera. That is, yeah, that's one of those things that I don't, like, so, so far, just about every second of gameplay has been has been put on the show. Yeah. Um, and that's that's kind of our our ideal. We want to have whatever we actually do be in the show. <laughs> like, um, you might not see a save, but we always do. That's about the only thing I think we cut off is just yeah, the save. The save, yeah. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I used to send like letters like maybe once a week when I'd play on my own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I haven't sent any out. And I guess it's okay. I mean, so I, n I honestly, I mean, I we're not gonna get it. a lot of mail because no one's gonna send us a letter if we don't send them a letter. Yeah, yeah. But I really do it. I'm still looking for Santa pants. I think. Yeah. Santa pants. Santa pants. So I did not see a radio in the. <laughs> of course not. In the in the store. So that was a roundabout way to no talk about the radio. Santa pants. You don't want no blue jeans? No, I don't know blue jeans. I really don't have room for any more clothes. Yeah. Okay. Get that black umbrella. Why? Are we going to a funeral? Exactly. Because we're going to kill Ricky. What? We're not killing him. He's just leaving town, Brian. Wink. Murder in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So it's afternoon. I could probably get a piece of fruit and learn a new expression today yeah sure because uh, that little thing is only open in the afternoon well while you're doing that let's go ahead and celebrate national day tell us about them national days brian all right sure. every brian. day it seems like it's a national something day and we're here to prove that right today's no different today is a weird one yeah national national dewey decimal system day oh so go Ooh. support your library that s still has one of those for some reason because they haven't elect uh, no, made an electronic one. Everyone else like upgraded. Um, if know. you don't know what we're talking about because you're a child and you've <laughs> never seen one of these. Um, wow. I mean, way to call them out, Brian. <laughs> I mean, like literal child. I don't oh, okay. mean like. I didn't mean like you're a fucking you know. You're an you're a child. You should grow up. <laughs> no, I mean like a literal child is okay. watching. If you're a little kid, yeah. <laughs> if you're a little kid, I'm sorry because we fucking cuss. <laughs> Second, you've probably never seen one of these. <laughs> and a uh, the Dewey Decimal System is a uh, how we used to find books. Yeah, I used to be a pain in the big old butt. Mm -hmm. I hardly ever used it though. My, it felt like in elementary school when they still had that. Um, I never had a need for it. Yeah. I was too young, you know. I would just pick out the books that were already like displayed on the top shelf. Yeah, like Clifford and stuff like that, you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> Look at that big red fucking dog. <laughs> I want to read that book. <laughs> um, and then when I got older, my library switched over to like a little, its own little like Dewey Decimal yeah, System on uh -huh. the computer. Mm -hmm. So I just would type in books and see where they were, you know. So I guess I was even too young for. To get the full effects of that, you know. So, fun fact: um, I, don't know what I'm doing. I just walking in circles. My my second year at Surrey Community College, the mm -hmm. year before, a uh, year, a couple years before you were there, mm -hmm. I watched them transit transition from the Dewey Decimal System to a computer system. Mm -hmm. and my school must have been ahead of the curve then, because this was like in the mid '90s when mine changed to a computer. Yeah, my my school, my, my high school did that too. <laughs> But the um, I guess community college the real libraries forever. and stuff mm -hmm. took forever. Mm -hmm. But I didn't really go to the real library that much. Like like I said, when I went to the real library, I would just pick out books that were mm -hmm. on the shelf. I didn't really, I wasn't looking for anything specific. So 
Well, basically, today is to s- celebrate how to find books and to s- support your local library. Yeah, you know what? You should go check out your library because you can get a lot of really cool stuff there. I mean, it has... A, I actually love libraries. <laughs> I mean, our local library will let you rent a digital book, yeah. which is nuts. Yeah, you I, can also rent movies and stuff from libraries. Mm-hmm. They're only like a dollar, too. They're super cheap. And then, of course, the books are free if you get a library card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't lose your book or fuck it up. Hey, we got a happiness hey. joke. Nice. Something nice. <laughs> Most serious issue of our happiness. day, happiness. Serious, right? Know what I'm serious about? Happiness. <laughs> One word to sum it up. Orange. Orange, you glad I didn't say happiness again? <laughs> wow. <laughs> These jokes are so terrible. They really are. Good job, Nintendo. <laughs> All right, well, well, let's see what happiness looks let's like. Let's see what that that looks like. Oh, do it again. Do, can you hold That's very it? Subtle. No. no. Okay. I can click on it though. That's cool. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, well, we got two more things. It's still, uh, it's also National Human Rights Day. Human rights. Give those humans their rights. So, um. The way there's no real way to celebrate this. Um, if you don't celebrate this don't, every day, don't be I, a dick. Yeah, <laughs> every single day, and you know, be nice to people and let them have their rights. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't. Yeah, uh, systematic like right removal is bad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I saw this the other day. Uh, this tweet going around, and it was uh, basically someone saying, "Should uh, should androids have rights?" Mm-hmm. Right. And someone replied with, hey, hold your damn horses. <laughs> Black people, uh, Muslims, queers, women, all, you know, immigrants, immigrants, like, every, let's ha- like, let's get to these people first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was, I thought that was funny. That is pretty funny. So we're only 85,000 away from only 85, finishing away. the museum renovation. Which That'd is be nice. About. Uh, so these are kind of like what I consider more boring works projects. Like they're obviously you need them. They're awesome. Uh-huh. But they don't really improve like the way your town looks. Yeah. So I'm but excited it's... to get that over with so that we can move on to something more fun. Like, I don't know. We can also design the museum rooms or and whatnot too, though. Yeah, yeah. So That'll be fun. I, that, after we get the museum rooms, I will start heavily buying the Nintendo things. Yeah. We'll be doing Nintendo rooms and stuff. Um. Well. So, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you're you off fine. about your You're fine. Your I've rights. only got one more day left. And okay. it's uh, National Nobel Prize Day. Ooh. So, um... I was reading, a, while I was doing this, I was started reading a lot about uh, the Nobel Prize. Um, there was some stuff I knew, like the fact that um, uh, Nobel wanted uh, people to not remember him for creating dynamite. Mm-hmm. So um, he created this. He created dynamite. Yeah, he created dynamite, and he felt so bad about creating such a destructive thing mm-hmm. that killed many, many people. Yeah. That uh, he created this prize to help people mm-hmm. uh, a remember him more fondly, yeah, and b to promote um, uh, people who are making the world a better place. Mm-hmm. So, and of course, there's a giant cast prize that goes with that. Well, his family wasn't too happy about it because in his last will and testament, like. 99% of his assets went to this prize. Oh, wow. Like, his yeah. family didn't get shit. Yeah. Um, the reason why they still have money, like, the the pro- the, uh, the mm-hmm. Nobel Peace Award mm-hmm. has money to um, give to people is because he gave all his patents, like, to Dynamite yeah, and to... everything else oh, to the cool. awards. So they still make money off of that, which is how they continue to give out awards. Hmm, that's interesting, very weird, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, well, but, I mean, dynamite is very destructive, but I can see it being used for good in a way. Yeah, too, yeah, you yeah. Know, like building roads and stuff, and just. I used to hear dynamite all the time living in Mount Airy because we'd have quarry, the granite quarry. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I think that, and I mean, I guess you could you could also say that um, that dynamite is 
might not be the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. you know, it's also helping. So, yeah, it's kind of a weird, a weird little conundrum there. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I get, I get where he's coming from, though. He wanted to be known for something else, which I guess good job because either he did a really good job or I'm just uninformed. No, no. <laughs> uh, I mean, a, I didn't know that he created Dynamite. A lot of people know what a Nobel Peace Prize is. Mm -hmm. Some people don't know who created Dynamite. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, the only reason why I knew about that was because it was like, one of those did you know things that you'd read in the bathroom. Uh-huh. That's all, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> did you know? But um I love those books. But yeah, I, I I thought it was really interesting reading it and uh they actually didn't give out the first Nobel Peace Prize until 5 years after his death. Really? Because of um because legal, of his family. The legal yeah, struggles. There's a, there's some, it, yeah. yeah, there's legal battles. I want that money. I don't know what it is. Um I've only experienced two deaths in my life. One of them was my grandpa. One of them was Brian's grandpa. Yep. And it doesn't matter. Like, I'll go ahead and say my family is really crappy, like, mm. on my grandpa's side. And your family is fine, in my opinion, you know, out of, like, compared to my family. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but I know what you something mean. about, like, when someone dies, it makes people really weird. Yeah. And you have, like, weird family members that come around and are like, what's up? You know? Yeah, you're exactly. like, what are you even doing here? Um, I definitely felt that with my grandpa. It was really bad, actually. Yeah, and my family to the point is still dealing with that, we too. We don't even talk to that side of the family anymore because there were so many issues going on. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Which is a shame. And it's, like, such a shame for people who are closer to that person who passed away that these other people are stalking around, like, trying to find mm -hmm. ways to benefit. And you're just trying to grieve. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I don't know. If anybody else has experienced that, but I certainly have in both instances. One was worse than the other, but yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a very yeah. weird time. So I get that whole like weird five year period where they weren't giving out a prize, you know? Oh um, yeah, and like like the people who like his uh, descendants don't mind it now. It's mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah, well, that's this so long ago now. Yeah, and they're not direct descendants. Yeah, it would be kind of like. I would I would be full of pride if my you know um, I great, think great that, grandpa or whatever yeah. started the Nobel Peace Prize you know and I think they are at this point mm -hmm. but um that it was just interesting to read yeah um I kind of I kind of like was stopped doing work for a little bit and caught caught up on this yeah I actually had to do that with all three of today's like just national a bit days more about it and I was just like okay Human Rights Day. What the fuck do you mean by that? Yeah. Um, well, well it's, these national days are fun because there are a lot of silly ones. Yeah, at, yeah. Um, but there's some serious ones peppered in. And, like, the whole point is for us to, like, learn a little something, I think. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, the United Nations started Human Rights Day. Really? Yeah. Um, uh, they didn't give me too much more details about it. But basically, it's just to promote equal human rights. Mm -hmm. um, which... Um, is great and all, but, um, and I, you know, it's kind of flowery words. I don't know what this is supposed to do besides create awareness. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how you would not be aware of the issues of human rights at hand, you mm -hmm. know, but I guess some people, it's not just that it's also just, well, it, it's just some people. It probably doesn't affect them. As I mean, much. yeah. I mean, uh, or not directly, you know. So exactly. they just kind of like whatever. I don't care about it. Exactly. So it, a lot of it is just being aware and being aware of the situations around you and trying to help out as best as you can. Yeah. And then, yeah. of course, the Dewey Decimal System Day was just like, what the fuck? Why would you make a day for this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just kind of like, this is just so well, weird. Well, imagine the chaos that ensued before the Dewey Decimal System. I, I'm sure it was nuts. I actually used to just... That nonfiction was in the fiction and everything was crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, that was probably a really brilliant system when it came out. It's probably just an older day, you know? Yeah. That and they just don't, you know... They're just like, well, I'll just leave it. And most electronic systems basically are still the Dewey Decimal System. Yeah, and they're just based on that. So there still is a Dewey Decimal System. It's just not. Yeah. I guess like pieces manual. of paper. Yeah. It's not a bunch of index cards. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Anyways, those are that was National Day. 
Okay, I have a perfect explanation of the Dewey Decimal System. So, if you have seen the first Ghostbusters movie. Yes. <laughs> and the very first scene uh-huh. where the ghost is, like, fucking up the library and all those little cards are flying everywhere. That's the Dewey Decimal System. <laughs> yep, that's it right there. So, don't be a ghost and go in there and, like, fuck it up. Respect that Dewey Decimal System. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and jump right into uh, birthdays. Birthdays. If it's December 10th, if you were born today, happy, happy birthday. birthday. That was really good, Brittany. We good. didn't plan that at we all. We should start an album. I know. Where we sing Happy Birthday. So I actually been um, thinking about uh, the dumb uh, heat uh, heat sounds idea that we talked about. Like an album. Uh huh. That's Hutch's album. Yeah, I know. It's going to be just Hutch. <laughs> Hutch what, sounds. Did, what was the name of his album? Mouth uh, sounds or something. Mouth sounds. Yeah, <laughs> mouth sounds. <laughs> um. But anyways, happy birthday to you if you were born today. Thank you so much for tuning in on your Thank birthday. You. Uh, you share a birthday with Ada Lovelace. Ada Lovelace was born in 1815. She was an English mathematician, and she is considered the first computer programmer. Wow. So, very uh, some very cool stuff. It's fun. F- one thing that I've actually learned from this show is that, that a lot of the first when it comes to computer programming mm-hmm. have been women yeah that's surprising uh specifically um one of the people we talked about earlier was the uh saturn V rocket programmer yeah uh and how it was a woman who programmed it by hand yeah that's insane like by like writing it down uh-huh not typing yeah <laughs> that, yeah that's crazy and the amount of books were uh, measured up to the exact same like height as this woman. Wow, she was like five three. That's amazing. And, uh, and all this, st- all of them stacked together, were like taller than her. That's crazy. Uh, it's a pretty cool uh, thing. Uh, but we only have, have one other birthday today, and <laughs> I doubt that. <laughs> well, <laughs> ever no, but uh, <laughs> famous picking. people I want to talk about. I just look at you shit about that. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, but. Uh, it's the uh, American Iron Chef Bobby Flay. Bobby Flay. Bobby Flay. <laughs> he loves his grill. He was born in 1964. Oh, shit. I already have a piano. And you already have a piano. You know what? Put the one on the other side. There you go. Dueling pianos. So when you finally come to the town, we can do it together. We'll have dueling pianos. There we go. Well, Merry Christmas, everyone. We have two pianos. Filthy animals. Hey, Christmas, you filthy animals. Um, but yeah. And then, of course, if Tom the cat is in your town, it's his birthday. You know what he likes? He likes rock furniture. He likes Jerry. Yeah. And <laughs> gray things. Also, he generally wears my shirt, the BB shirt. The BB shirt. So, but yeah. Happy birthday What's again to beach? you. Anything and thank you beach? again for tuning in. No, there's nothing on this beach. This little tiny inlet of a beach. We haven't even planted any trees or anything over it's here. It's real annoying. Actually, I wish I, you could put public works projects on the beach. I think that'd be really awesome. Put so, like a bench or something on the beach. So I was looking at your other did. town. Mm-hmm. And I love the layout of your other town for one reason. The river doesn't go through the beach. There's just one beach. It's just... Uh, I feel like there was a tiny little bit. Nope. There's no tiny little bit on the other side. You have a river on one side, and you have a river on the other side. I don't even remember, so... And you just have one big beach, and it's really we gotta nice. fix our beach, though. Our beach is a little crazy. A little cray-cray. I mean, I agree with you. So, yeah, we'll, we'll work on that soon. But I feel like... I've paid quite a bit on our museum renovation, yeah, so yeah. I think we're good some... to go. Okay. We're going to end it right here on the beach. We're going to end it right here on the beach. Well, guys, thank you so, thank much, you for so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for tuning in. in. And uh, we'll, we'll see you tomorrow, and yeah. maybe we'll start seeing some snow collect on these grounds. I hope so. I'm tired of looking at this dumb old ground. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see some snow, and I want to make some snowmen. Nice. And some snow women and some snow kids. <laughs> Some snow nanners. No, not snow nanners. I see snow nanners, <laughs> Brittany. Bye, guys. All right, bye.